and internet connection and friends. And we both know you only have one of those things. So, bye. Well, yes, but actually, no. You do need some basic things, but it's not nearly as complicated as a lot of people make it out to be. Welcome to the first of many beginner-focused videos about Dungeons & Dragons. This time, we're going to go over the basics of just what you need to start playing, and also, well, mention the things you need to start DMing as well. Obviously, more things could be used than just this small list, but this is the basics after all. So first, you do genuinely need a group. It's not worth watching the rest of this video if you can't get at least three people total together. That's one to run the game and two to play in it. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. If no one locally or in your online groups wants to play though, there are lots of other options. First, I'd recommend getting on some YouTubers discords. I was a part of XP to level threes for a while and there are always people looking to start new games in channels dedicated to that sort of thing. After that, Reddit, and while I can't vouch for this as much, there is a D&D Reddit, and there are people starting games there all the time, so maybe you could try your luck there. Any genuine D&D players will never discount you for your inexperience. We all just want to have fun, and they should be more than willing to be patient if you're genuinely interested in the game and want to have fun and play along with them. Next, after a group, what are some basics for your table? There are two ways of looking at this, the legit way and the honest way. To be honest, first, you don't need anything other than a pencil and some paper. The books are available for free online and while I can't post those links down below, it won't take more than a few minutes to find them. And there are free digital dice literally built into Google. If you wanna play D&D, just play D&D. The barrier to entry is more like a pebble on the road. You just Drive over it. It'll be fine. For a more legit answer though, here's what you'll want to have to do as little phone consulting as possible during your games. First, you only need one book, the player's handbook. Even without the monster manual, your DM can make up monsters. The player's handbook gives them everything they need and the dungeon master's guide is hardly a guide for how to dungeon master. It's more like a framework for how to craft certain aspects of the game. And if you're creative and have strong ideas already, you don't need it. The player's handbook provides all of the game's rules, as well as copies of the player character sheets and sample enemies and beasts. It's the only book I would say is necessary to run a game of D&D. I ran many games before I really got into it. With just an old copy of the 3.5 player's handbook. That was it. Next, you'll need at least one set of dice for the table, although everyone sh really should have their own. It's far more fun that way. Dice are how the game is played, and in a week or two here, we'll also be releasing a more in-depth video about what each one does in the game. But for now, you'll need a set. The player's handbook tells you what to do with them. After that, literally whatever you want to constitute as maps and minis, whether it be large sheets of hand-drawn paper, to bargain bin figures and an old whiteboard. Theater of the mind is cool, but people don't always have a perfect mirror image in their minds of what you, the DM, are thinking. Things can get confusing fast, and so maps help. And that's it. For players, all you need is a book, some dice, and a way to do combat. And now that secret sauce that every DM needs? Just watch some YouTube videos. Really. Watch. Critical Role, like two episodes, or an episode of High Rollers, or some, you know, dice camera action. All you need to do is just familiarize yourself a little bit with the game, and from then on, it's improv. Make it up. If you get it wrong, so what? Change it the next session, or don't. Maybe you like the new rule better. The DM just has to keep it moving, and make sure that everyone has fun. That's what their job is. So yeah, a book, some dice, a way to do combat. With that, you can make characters, no monster abilities, and be able to visualize your games. Everything else is technically unnecessary. With a creative DM, clever players, and some paper, anything is possible. 
Thank you all for watching this quick little video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it really, really helps out. And as I mentioned before, the next video is going to be an explanation for what each of the dice do in the game. They'll include some basic use cases and a rough guess at how often they'll be used. We also have a Patreon, which is where you could have seen this video a few days in advance, as well as gotten access to a monthly homebrew pack and loads of other things. We also have other social medias, all of which are linked down below. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. Bye.